morning. What's he dreaming about? Oh, PJ Masks. Cat boy, time to get up. It's time for school. Do I have to? Let's be cozy. Oh, PJ Masks. Oh. Come on, you can get up. It's school time. You're going to be late. We've got you special breakfast this morning. What? Special breakfast? Whoa! Special breakfast. Here I go. Special breakfast. Whoa! <gasps> these aren't special, these are just cornflakes. I feel something. 
We've got these two motorized light up vehicles to look at in the box, the ones that Ollie was dreaming about, and also the remote control. This is the first ever remote control um, PJ Masks vehicle that we've seen. I've got a cup of tea because I needed a bit of a drink. I'm a little bit thirsty after all our filming with Ollie's dreaming little skit. I hope you enjoyed that. Just excuse me, I'll have a little sip of my tea. We'll pop this here because I'm sure you're really keen to look at these PJ Masks toys. So this is a motorised gecko. It's similar to the other gecko mobiles but of course um, out of the box it's very very different because of what it does. So if we have a look at the back you can see it says lights and sounds. It says that you can get a cat car also available. Now it doesn't say about an owl glider. Now I'm not sure whether there's an owl glider yet but if you spot an owl glider in a shop let me know because I'd love to know if there is one. Got the gecko mobile here, it's got the tracks, and of course you've got gecko and motorized, yes, because that's because it doesn't just light up, but it also whizzes along as well, as you'll have seen earlier in our episode. Now let's get this out. Oh, it's happened already. <laughs> So, if you can hear me <laughs> over the noise it's making, it has got special wheels underneath. The front ones are just free moving, but the back ones, can you see? They've got special rubber on them so it can really, really whiz along. But what I really like is the way it makes some lights and sounds. If I pop it down here, I'm just going to turn the lights out over here and also this light over here. Can you still see? I think you can still see. Because if we want to see what it looks like for real, we need to see in a little bit of dark. So let's press the button and watch how the lights dance on the Ge Gecko Mobile. Nice, eh? Pretty cool. Now that was on the try me mode. If we put it onto the full operational mode, you get a bit more happening. See that really, really lighting up. It's <laughs> nice. And also you can see at the back the wheels going along. It doesn't move, it's not articulated 
like the other Gecko Mobiles, it's, it's not articulated like that, but it is a similar size. So there you go, that is the Gecko Mobile. Should we turn the lights on so you can see the box? So one light and, whoa, over there, two lights. Got lots of lights over here. Excuse me, to have a little bit of a sip of my tea. Cheers, have you got a drink? I wonder if you have a drink when you're watching YouTube. Because um, my kids do that. They will watch and they'll have a drink and sometimes they have a snack. Usually I'm saying, not anything sugary, something that's good for you. So let's, anyway, enough of that. Let's move on to this one. PJ Mask. of course it's the cat car and another of the light up racers. And of course you see them and you want to race them as Ollie did as soon as he saw them in real life. Um, in the shop you can try it, you can press the button. Again, it's got lights and sound. We're going to see that. You can probably tell what's going to happen with this um, because it's going to light up. It says here, get the mobile, no mention of the owl glider. I'd like to see an owl glider too. My kids love Owlet and love the owl glider, so it'd be important to them to get it out of the box. Oh, it'd be important to them to have the owl glider as well. Now, let's see. Underneath, you've got this, um, this switch. And it's important to know this that it has a different different modes. It has to try me mode, and that's in the shop, so it, you can try it in the shops without the batteries running out, and you can also have an on mode, and that's for when you're playing at home. Underneath, just same as the Gecko Mobile, you've got a little screw, and then you've got the batteries, which fit in there. So if it stops working, that's what you probably need to do is to replace some of the batteries. But, um, so you can see the cat car, before we turn the lights out, you can see it's really nice, it's sort of low, sleek, real sports car feel to this one. Um, and from the back, it's got the exhaust there, really nice detail. But what I'm gonna do again, we'll pop him down here and we'll turn the lights out, light one and light two, and then see how he looks. Ready? Here we go. You can see there the back, can you hear me? It's a bit noisy. But you can see the wheels on the back really whizzing. And what I like, you should do it again, is the way it really dances as it plays the tunes. Let's do it again. Yeah, Chris likes dancing, really nice. And you can see the wheels going pretty fast at the back. It goes for a short burst. Nice, really cool. So I think that is good. So just wait for it to stop making noises. PJ Masks. I think that's pretty cool. We'll put that down there. Let's get the lights back on. It's a nice addition, I think. It's nice to see a little bit more tech, sort of a little bit more video gamey. And certainly, when you see these together, you really, really want to race them. But let us know in the comments: Are these two cars something you're going to be jumping in on? Are you going to be wanting those for Christmas and the holidays? Is that something which you're really looking forward to having? We'll pop them over there. Certainly, they're really nice and really big. Now, I'll just have another little sip of my tea. If you'll excuse me for a minute. Very nice. Um, we should pop that over here out of the way because we've got a big box to look at now. We've got this. Can you see that? Give it up. There's a lot of reflections here, but you can see there, this is the RC cat car, um, only available at Target. Um, and you can turn and you can go forward. If we turn it round, you can see in the back. Now it doesn't say also available as a Gecko Mobile and Owl Glider. So I think probably at the minute, the RC one, you can only get it in a cat car form. But if we open it up, I did open it earlier just to have a look, you can tell. So if we pop, but we pop this open, and here we are. Pull it out. Oh, whoops, it's all falling out. We've got two bits. If you look at this first, we have got the controls. If we press them, well, it's not switched on, I don't think. <laughs> so that's to go forwards. You press that button, you go straight forwards. And this button goes backwards, but it turns as well. And that means using the controls, just two controls, very simply, you can drive around your remote control car. And I'm sure that um, I'm sure that you've had cars like this before. Now, actually, I've said remote control, but it's not remote control because remote control cars have a cable, don't they? This is radio control because it has a little aerial. You don't have to be attached to it, and it means you can drive it right across the hallway as we did over to the other side, and it goes really fast. We did need to add some batteries on this one, so the others come with batteries already in it, but this one we needed to add some batteries, so we added, I think, just two AA batteries in there. Here we are. Look at this. Nice cat car. Um, yes, this um, had batteries in it, and you can see at the front, this is how it turns. So when it goes backwards, that turns round and it goes in a circle. Um, so the front wheels don't actually touch the ground. If you just have a look here, can you see that little thing's just poking down? That's the one it travels on, not these front wheels. But the back wheels are where the power comes from. If we turn it on, and we've got our controller here, I'll just do that off camera so you can see, that it's got a real sense of pace and speed to it. When I press the button, 
It's really quick. Look at how fast this, this wheel goes. Ready? Three, two, one. You can see if I just do it across the desk. Oh, sorry. Well, I'm sorry, it's not my tea over as well. Maybe we should move that out of the way. Um, but you can see, it's really, really, really rather quick and lots of fun. Now, you need more space than we've got here, obviously. Woo! <laughs> to go around. But you can, you can just play with it. Really cool. Woo! Where are you going? And all I'm doing is this. And you can see you can go anywhere. I'm just turning one way. If you want to turn the other way, you just have to go right around the circle. And we found the range is pretty good. And I think it's pretty good. I really like it. Um, I think that is a nice addition. And again, I think kids of all ages love PJ Masks. I know some people think it's just for little kids. But in our family, we've enjoyed watching it while we've been older. And actually, don't tell anyone, but I like it too. I love the characters and the stories, and I love watching it together as a family. So to have toys like this that are suitable for a really wide age group of kids, I think is really helpful. Now, what I know, what I want to know is maybe how old you are. Do you still watch PG Masks? I guess you do if you've got to the end of this video. So maybe you could tell us how old you are. Also, what do you think of these toys? Are, are these the sort of toys you want them to be making? Or are there other toys you think that the toy makers should make the PJ Mask? Would you really want an Owlet version of these two? Because I think if you did, maybe we could see one. And also, maybe we should see a Gecko Mobile remote control car. That would be cool as well. So I hope that's been enjoyable. Um, I hope you had some fun watching our little skit with Ollie. Um, he does dream a lot about PJ Masks, I'm sure. But of course, we just added that in <laughs> to see what it would look like if we could see what he was dreaming. So there you go. Feel free to put anything in the comments to us. Um, we're always reading them. We always reply to all of them. So if you've got any questions, we will definitely, definitely reply. We have someone sitting on that, just checking them all the time and replying to all the comments. And we love the comments. You guys are why we do the channel. So thank you for watching, as I've said. Um, and do subscribe. You can subscribe and then you'll know when we've got more videos coming out. But for now, I think we better say goodbye.